Hey guys, I just left Crankworks a little bit early. I'm going through Washington right now, headed to Oregon to catch the solar eclipse. Just woke up bright and early. I'm here on a farm in Prairie City, Oregon. A really nice landowner is letting us camp here for the eclipse tomorrow. We have a front row seat. Just making some AeroPress coffee now before I'm gonna go explore the little town of Prairie City. Got a good group here out on the Emil Ranch. Everybody's excited for the eclipse tomorrow. What are your names? I'm Gigi. And I'm uh, Brett. And where are you guys from? Carson uh, City, Nevada. Oh, I'm Greg, and uh, uh, <laughs> we came to see the eclipse because I've never seen one in, in total 100%. So why do you guys want to see the total solar eclipse? The draw, the novelty, the rarity of it, but also because um, I'm very mystical and I love mystical events. My name's Lisa and this is Isabel and we came to see the eclipse just because we thought it would be a really good learning moment for science for Isabel and also a good road trip because I love road trips. There you go and this is Jenna and she came with us to the eclipse and she's having a great time with her doggy friends. <laughs> Okay, Lauren, the famous bicycle uh, competitor, <laughs> um, has just met David Secord. Rev, David Secord, fine art painter, spiritual musician. Awesome. That's who you just met. Now, up up here is the is this about five levels: the floor, this level, this level right here. <laughs> And this level, and that's four, but the fifth level is outside on a roof at night. Right. I thought about it a whole lot, you know. Yeah. The whole thing was around the, what could carry a piano, and all my tools, and all my art. And I ended up with this truck instead of like a school bus or something like that. So this is David's sweet van, a little bit bigger than mine. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> this, is, this is the walls that the van carries, and the art that the van carries. How and cool. the carpet that the van carries. Here we are with more art that awesome. I'm just the brush. Uh, uh, you know, like I have to put my name on it, but I know better than to claim it. It's <laughs> not, it's, it's way for way beyond me that this stuff comes from. Pretty awesome. There you go. <laughs> So what is this thing? It's my creation. Your yeah, creation? It's, yeah, he is. My 8500 watt, 84 volt. Oh my god. Oh my god, bike. Yes, it is. But See, this is Prairie City Motors. This is his and Cycles, his business. For yep. 43 years. For 43 Prairie City years. Motors and but Cycles. He's from Germany. I just <laughs> lucked into finding probably the coolest thing in Prairie City. I'm here with Ingo Weddy. Hi. And he builds. Probably the coolest electric bike I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Um, it's a really it's quick run. 8,500 watt uh, rear drive. It's an 84 volt system, and um, it's got an inverter. It's got a controller. It doesn't generate any heat. And how fast does it go? Um, right importantly. now, approximately about 80. 80 miles an hour. Yeah, it actually was 120, Whoa. but we dialed 120? it. 120. So I'm riding goes baby here. Come closer. So this thing goes 80 miles an hour, you tell me? Yep. We'll <laughs> dial you in for full power. Alright. <laughs> so it'll pull and jerk just a little bit as you uh, right. go through. Test the baby out. Alright. Where are my cycling outfits today? I wish she didn't want me to chase her. Oh, she needs to ride it. Ride it up the street! Already all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. downhill racer riding my bike right now. You're a tatter? Her name's Lauren. What's up, Lauren? This thing is way too awesome. This is the most fun I like to get back on your face. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool is you know how to ride it. This thing is so fast. It's 
so cool. I know. Thank Isn't you so it? Much. It's, it's awesome. awesome. <laughs> well, I also lucked out and I met the biggest cyclist in Prairie City. This is Cameron. And he's talking about all the exciting things that are actually going on here in Prairie City. It's an up and coming cycling spot. So, uh, we just created the Eastern Oregon Trail Alliance out here, trying to unite basically from the Steens Mountains up. Uh, if you go on like bikepacking.com, you'll find steam mountain loops and the Oregon Outback, and there's a lot of bikepacking opportunity. A new yeah. pump track in John Day was just approved. Oh, sweet. So pump we're really track's always good. <laughs> wanting to do like community into the forest and the mountains and back. So That's so cool. And you yeah. said there's some gravel grinder races out here. Yeah, we just did the Skull 120 this year, a gravel blog. Yeah. They said it's the race of the entire uh, United States. Like, watch out, Dirty Kansas. Really? The Skull 120. Yeah, over 10,000 feet gain, 120 miles. Um, so you heard it, the Prairie City is going to be the gravel grind race in the country. And Cameron is a fellow WTB athlete, so pretty cool running into you. We'll have to go for a ride. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Cheers. So I just had the best day ever in the tiny town of Prairie City getting ready for the eclipse tomorrow. I met so many interesting people. I got to ride an electric bike that goes 80 miles an hour. I don't know how this trip could get any better and the eclipse hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> so, this is where I'm camping. The Emil family has been sweet enough to open up their property to me and my fellow eclipse chasers so that we can view the eclipse uh, from their land tomorrow. So, really grateful to find a spot. A lot of really cool, interesting people camping here. It's the night before and we're all getting ready for the big day tomorrow morning. So, what do you guys think about the van? Cool. It's cool. Covered in words and stickers and car things. You want this? Yeah. Sweet. Want to play the kazoo for us? Mm. You guys excited for the eclipse tomorrow? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Colorado. Colorado. And we're going to Puerto Rico in a few days. Yeah. Uh, oh, sweet. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen during the eclipse tomorrow? Uh, we're going to see a sun thingy or something. A sun thingy. Do you know what's going to happen? Hi, I'm Jim. Leslie. Kathy. My name's Deborah. I'm from Fallon. And where are you guys from? We're from Palo Alto. And where are you guys from? Most recently, Boulder. We moved onto our boat. You moved onto a boat. That's yes. pretty sweet. Filming. You can film whatever you want. Ah. <laughs> where do you live? I live on a boat in Puerto Rico. Alright, I can do that. Where are you going after Puerto Rico? After Puerto Rico, I'm gonna sail south with my family to all of the Caribbean islands. I mean, I might not stop at all of them, but I'm gonna try. We're gonna try. And why are you guys here to see the eclipse? Because uh, we figured it might be the last uh, time to see such an event. We've heard it's really not... I, I like scientific stuff, but they say this is really something you should go and get the emotional part of it, you know? And so... And totality. Uh, that and totality, was... Totality, yeah. Jim for sure wanted 100%. He didn't want 90. He didn't want 92. He wanted 100%. <laughs> and one thing I really want to do, you, we see pictures of eclipses all the time, but not with me in them, so I'm going to do a selfie with the eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a pretty awesome camp set up here. Yeah, I love it. Like yeah. This is Pete. No, 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 I'm this good. This is PG, Rob. I'm just going to play it out right now. Right? <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Ron. I'm from Fallon, Nevada. Awesome. And I came up here for the eclipse, but it turned out to be... Weekend for Ron. It, oh, we just came up here for Ron. Right? <laughs> and we endured Ron for the weekend. Right? She's all edit, edit. edit. So, that's who I am. You're eclipsing the eclipse, Ron. That's what it sounds like is happening here. <laughs> Just so learned an interesting piece of information about the eclipse. How fast is it going to be traveling? It's the shadow travels across the United States at a thousand miles an hour. It uh, starts in Portland or on the sh on the shore of Oregon, mm -hmm. and it goes to the East Coast in three and a half hours. A thousand miles an hour. Miles an hour. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Today is the big day. I woke up this morning. It's perfectly blue skies. There's not a cloud up there, which is the best way to view an eclipse. Everybody's getting up, setting up their telescopes, and uh, the eclipse is going to happen in about two hours, so we're all really excited. So the reason that we all picked this field to camp in is we're directly in the path of the moon's shadow. What we're waiting for is totality. The moon is going to completely block out the sun, and it's going to go dark for two minutes and eight seconds. 
It's supposed to be a really powerful experience. The temperature changes, the nighttime animals come out, we're completely losing the sun. You can see everybody behind me, all getting ready for the eclipse. It's pretty cool to have so many people coming together to see this astrological event. Good morning. I'm excited. Nice. What do you think totality is going to be like? Uh, scary. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's going to be jaw dropping. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the stars in the middle of the day. Sweet. That's, that's really the big one. Yeah. That's a serious telescope. No. Is it starting right now? Yeah. The moon has just started to go in front of the sun so with our glasses on. You can see a little sliver. In about an hour, it's going to be totally dark. You excited? Mm hmm What do you see? I see the moon. The moon? Is it in front of the sun? Yeah. Oh man, and it's going to cover it totally. That is silly. Isn't that cool? I can still see the moon. So right now, the moon's covering about a quarter of the sun. It's really cool. You can see it's the big those glasses. I want see the moon, but it's still morning. You can see the moon and it's the morning. Cold, gotta put on the sweater? Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes out. Crazy. It's getting so dark. <laughs> and it's a different kind of dark. It's not dark yeah. like at dusk. Right. You're completely different. unique. That was incredible. It was the most otherworldly thing I think I've ever seen. So cool. Awesome. Awesome. Job. Totally amazing. <laughs> yeah. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. It's like, oh my god. No words. No words. Yep. Awesome. It was incredible. <laughs> I I never I didn't think I would experience something like that. It was so worth it. It's beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, it was the amazing, most amazing thing I think I've seen uh, ever. Yeah. Awesome. I thought it was just stunning. And the best part was actually not necessarily the eclipse, but just watching how like it got dark and like how it felt like like nighttime and everybody's excitement. Like, all yeah. That. It was so cool. The energy was just awesome, yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Was it? Really just cool. everyone hooting and hollering. Yeah, and it, it was, was so exciting. <laughs> Happen, you know? Yeah, we all became one at that moment. We just all experienced the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. awesome. Great. That's beautiful. I saw the one in 79. This was completely different. Really? I was in Montana on the Eastern High Plains, and when I went total that time, it was yellow around it, like fire stuff. And this was like almost jewel like. It was white and yeah. crystal wow. and diamonds, yes. and it was looking yes. completely different. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, it did look like a diamond. Totally awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. Nice, that's awesome. Spiritual experience, indeed. It was a spiritual experience, yeah. I had tears in my eyes watching this. Oh, yeah. It was so beautiful. Today's our anniversary. So. It's your anniversary? Yeah, so it's oh. our anniversary present. 
Yeah. Congratulations. Great way to celebrate. What did you guys think? Pretty impressive. Yes. yes. Awesome. It's a black hole in the sky. Very mysterious. The corona was amazing. Yeah. It was so beautiful. <laughs> nice. You probably won the day with the best photo. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Well worth it. Yep. Craziest thing I've ever seen. It was, Wasn't it? It was really, really awesome. I wish it would have lasted longer. Two minutes went by so fast. So fast. But yeah. Really. Really. Cool. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Glad I came here. Me too. <laughs> Seven years. There's another one. Texas. There See you go. there. Yeah. All awesome. Right. <laughs> Everyone's breath was taken away. It's really cool. We're all. We all feel connected after experiencing that together. It's like a field full of friends now. Really cool. What'd you guys think? Good. It was cool. Yeah. Was it scary and creepy? Yeah, why? Because it was so dark. Got totally dark? Uh -huh. I'm driving away from my first total solar eclipse. And that experience was, it was really awe-inspiring. The eclipse itself was absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. All the people that I met in Prairie City, the travelers and the locals, it was just great sharing that experience with them. And driving away, I got a little bit emotional and I just had a, had a good cry in the car. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say, but it was just it was such a beautiful experience and I'm really, really grateful to, uh, to have seen something that's kind of once in a lifetime. But I say it's once in a lifetime. I'm really hoping to see another one again. There's another one in seven years in Texas, two years in Argentina. I might just become an eclipse chaser. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm a YouTube star. Yes. <laughs> I love Hell that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>